thank you guys so much for watching these videos. I really appreciate it. Please let me know if there is a video that you want. All right, so cheat code 5.4a. Here we're talking about prime and composite numbers, identifying prime and composite numbers. What does that mean? A composite number is a number that could be divided by more than one in itself, okay? A number that can be divided exactly by numbers other than one in itself. A prime number can only be divided by itself or one to make a whole number, okay? So what is a prime factor? Remember, factors are multiplied together to create the product. What is a prime factor of the composite number 18? So 18 equals 1 times 18. Okay? So those are not options. 2 times 9. Oh, 9 is an option? Is 9 a prime? Wrong! Wrong, wrong, because watch this. 9 we can do 1 times 9 and 3 times 3, so it has more than two factors. So that's not a prime number. And let's do 3 times 6. Oh, 3 can only be divided by 1 and 3. 6 is 2 times 3, right? So it's not 6, it's not 9. 5 is not a factor of 18, it's 3. 3 is a prime number. All right, so... Malcolm is studying polygons. Remember, a polygon is just a shape. Can't have any curved sides. Okay. Studying polygons. Which of the following polygons has a prime number of sides? Well, let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9, we can divide by 1 and 9. 3 times 3. It's not 9. It's not a... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We know ten's not prime. Two times five, one times ten, two times five. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, I think it's eleven. One times eleven, two times five is ten. 2 times 6, no, is, is 12. It's got to be H. Is, uh, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12, we just did. 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. That's a bunch of factors. So 11 only has the factors 1 and 11. Two factors equals a prime number. Here's a trick question. Is two a prime or composite number? Two is a prime number because it can only be, be divided by one and itself. Just because it's even doesn't mean that it's pri uh, composite. Okay, these are the boys and girls that tried out for tennis team. Which grade had a prime number of girls and a prime number of boys try out for the tennis team. Ninth grade, 21. Oh, 21 is uh, 1 times 21, 3 times 7. That's not a prime number. 10th grade, 17 and 13. I think that's prime. Let's do 11th grade. It's 15. 5 times 3, right? 1 times 15, and then... 3 times 5, that is a prime, not a composite number. 9 is 9, 9, 1 times 9, 3 times 3. That's not, that's a composite number. It's got to be 17 and 13, so the 10th grade. Look at all the scratch work I'm doing. Please do that during your test. <laughs> please do, please do scratch work. When you take your star test, when you take any test, you've got to show your work for yourself. Catch your own mistakes. Catch them. Find them on the paper. Izzy's birthday falls on the date, on a date in, in April that is a prime number. What could the date of, the, of his birthday, what could be the date of his birthday? Of her birthday, maybe, Izzy. Uh, okay, 29. 
29, I don't know. Let's let's wait. We know it's not 9. 9 is 3 times 3. 1 times 9. 15, we know it's not 15. 1 times 5, 3 times 5. Or 1 times 15, 3 times 5. 27 is the trick. 27 is composite. 27 equals 1 times 27. 3 times 9. It is the 29th. Okay? A. Or F. In this case, F. Okay, last question. Last question with prime and composite. You've got to do scratch work with prime and composite numbers. A lot of times they're going to try to trick you because a number will be divisible by 3. Sometimes you'll do divide by 2 or you divide by 4, but divide by 3 sometimes will trick you. How many of the numbers in Luke's list are prime numbers? So let's just mark out the even numbers because we can divide these by 2, right? 40 divided by 2 is 20 divided by 20, you know, uh, 21. 22, 23, 24. And we know those are not prime. Ooh, 41. Can't do it divided by 2. Is 41 divided by 3? Uh, 1. Leave it. No. No. Because 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 4 is 12. So that one is prime. It's not divisible by 3. What about 43? Uh, 43 divided by 3. 1. No, because that would be 14 remainder of 1. So that's, that's, yeah. Okay, so that is a prime. What about, check this out. This is, you know it's not prime because it ends in 5. Multiples of 5 always end in 5 or 0. So, Check this out, 45 times 3, or divided by 3, 1, uh, 15 divided by 3 is 5. So 15 times 3, 45, or 45 divided by 5 is 9, right? 5 times 9 equals 45. So it's not 45. It's not 47. 47 divided by 3, 1, 7, mm, 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 mm. 15, remainder 2, 15, remainder 2, so that's, that's not 3, it's not going to be 4, it's not an even number, it's not divisible by 5, okay, and then 49, maybe they're going to trick us with 49, divided by 3, no, 16, remainder 1, that's not it, it's not going to be divisible by 5, not by 4, it's, so our answer is, Oh, 47 is prime number two. I mismarked. One, two, three, four, five. Which, how many of these numbers are prime numbers? Hmm. I got it wrong. What did I do wrong? It's 49. Divisible by not three? No. Forty-nine. Check this out, guys. Divisible by seven. Seven times seven is forty-nine. So that is not a prime a, a prime number. Answer is three. There you go. So gotta go slow, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in, watching these videos. I hope you are. Remember that. 7 times 7 is 49. Alright, thanks guys!